So what did you think of the presentation as an educator? Um, I thought it was factual. I thought it hit home with our students. Um, I know the student population that we have here at Connor High School, and especially my REACH Alternative High School. And um, it's best that the education we provide these kids come directly from specific examples. And John presented this specific example that hit home with our kids. And what would you say to other schools that are thinking of having me at their school, but have never heard of me or heard of the Connecticut Birds Care Foundation? What would you say to those schools to help them make the decision? Investigate it. Uh, ask John for some uh, prior schools he's visited, as well as prior contacts. Um, I personally would be glad to speak with anyone uh, willing to give me a call and uh, put in a, uh, a very strong endorsement for a program such as this. Okay. And what would you say to the Connecticut Birds Care Foundation for having me, uh, bringing me to your school and bringing my, my message to your students? What would you say to them? Thank you. I would thank them sincerely. Um, it's a powerful message. Um, it's been the buzz around our school for the last couple of days. Um, we've geared our program toward the juniors and seniors, and we've got freshmen and sophomores who have been coming up to me, approaching me, and asking uh, for consideration to have them sit in on the uh, presentations also. And your name is? My name is Matt Pace. I'm an assistant principal here at Connard High School in West Hartford, and I'm also a uh, program administrator for a uh, alternative high school here in West Hartford. presentation itself? Tremendous. Uh, I would, um, I, I'd be struggling to come up with enough positive adjectives. It's moving, you're a compelling speaker, uh, your message uh, bounces all over the room. Uh, I think, at least in the classes that, that I've been with each other, that, you know, you can pretty much hear a pin drop. You know, you have their attention. I'm, you don't know, notice any people's heads on their desks. I notice that sometimes it's difficult for some of the youngsters to, to, to really maintain eye contact with you, which is understandable for me with them. Uh, but I think it is a tremendously powerful visit that you make. Perfect. Um, uh, what would you say to other schools that are thinking about having me come to their school, but have just never heard of me or heard of the Connecticut Burns County Foundation? What would you say to those schools that are thinking about having me come? Uh, I would. First of all, I mean, I'm just trying to think of the ways. I would welcome them, I, you know, whenever possible, but I know you're coming from Canada. Yeah. I always try and invite other people when I know we're going to have somebody that I think, you know, and see if they want to send someone over so that they can see for themselves. Um, I would say to them that I have, um, you have easily convinced me that you, you, you have my full confidence and trust in the way you relate to and handle and interact with our kids. That's like the most important thing to me that I could ever say. Is, I feel like when you're speaking to them, they're in good hands. I would also say that um, it, I, I do feel it's important that their classes, uh, that they would prepare their, their classes. Uh, you know, we're, we're not getting, a, you know, we're not hearing current events here. You know, I think due to the nature of your subject, um, due to the, the graphic nature of your, you know, your slide, of the whole thing, I think it is important that the youngsters are prepared, but I think it's something that's not to be missed. I like how the fact that you say, you know, you encourage people to, to see it and invite other people to yes. check it out. For sure. Yes. Um, what would you say to the Connecticut Bridge Care Foundation for bringing me all the way to your school? I would say, <laughs> yay, Connecticut Ferns Foundation. I think it's a tremendous thing that they do, a tremendous service to, uh, to our young people. Um, I, you know, I, I'm, I feel very grateful that they are willing to um, to find you, to invest in whatever it must cost to transport you and your wife and put you up. And, um, and I would say to them, it's trust me that it's money well spent, that we are grateful. Um, and, uh, and you're sorry, your name again was? Pam Moffel. Okay, and your position is speak? I teach physical education. I, I did teach health for many years here as well, but uh, physical education and also in our PE department, we're responsible for teaching our substance abuse prevention lessons. Decision making is a big part of that curriculum. And um, in your Connard High School? Connard High School, West Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.